Confused about what basket to use in your coffee machine? Hang around, you're about to find out. Today I'm going to be talking you through different handles, baskets, the different styles of types, what they're used for, and something that I try and avoid on YouTube too much, but today you're going to get my opinion on each of these. So the first thing that I want to, want to talk about is different sizes. Now this is for baskets and also handles. Uh, different machines can be specific, although there is industry standards, let's say. Most baskets are going to be 58mm diameter uh, and fit into a handle that looks a little bit like this. So this is a Lama Zocco handle, um, but it is designed for an E61. Lama Zocco has brought out a few new different standards, if you will. Uh, Breville has their own standard. Uh, pretty much every manufacturer will use something different, but a lot of them actually use what we call an E61 and some parts will be interchangeable. It is something to be aware of though, that they can look similar. If these weren't side by side, you would think that they're the same size, but they're actually not. When we look at it, that's quite a bit smaller than what actually fits into this basket. That's just something to be aware of and something I wanted to, to briefly mention before we really get into it. Um, the next thing that I'm gonna talk about is a dual wall basket compared to a single wall basket. Now the dual wall basket can sometimes be called a pressurized basket. Um, and I've got a couple exam examples of it here. Um, what I just wanted to show you was the holes on the bottom. So both of these baskets actually have a double wall. There's more holes in the top than there is in the bottom. Um, this is specifically designed for pre-ground coffee. Normally in a standard single wall basket, holes in the top run straight through to the bottom. In a double wall basket, we're using the hole differential and there's actually, although it looks like there's lots of holes in the bottom, there's actually only a single hole in the bottom that is what is controlling the water as it flows through the basket. So the grind size isn't actually going to control your flow through your extraction as much as the double wall basket. Um, when you get these, they really only work with old, stale, pre-ground coffee. I don't recommend that anybody use these. You are not going to get a great specialty, amazing tasting coffee ever with pre-ground stale coffee, in my opinion. Uh, we did some trials here in the espresso bar and did a few things that you probably shouldn't do uh, and actually put our dual wall basket in a naked handle so we could actually see what was happening. So we'll, we'll run a bit of that footage for you now. And as you can see, it's a very, very messy process. One of the things that I will say about them is the single hole does actually aerate the extraction as that's coming through and creates the illusion of crema. So sometimes with some old uh, supermarket bought stale coffee, uh, it will look like a better extraction through a, a double wall basket. Um, and if you can't change the grind size or anything like that, then you might wanna use a dual wall basket. But as I said before, we're basically going to uh, throw those in the bin and get rid of them. Um, not something that we would recommend using uh, even in your home machine we recommend that you get a grinder uh, buy some nice fresh uh, roasted coffee off a local roaster and uh, be able to control your extraction through the grind size you're going to get a far better result um, the next thing i want to talk about and i'm going to be sort of jumping in between the two because they're not the same thing but they do kind of i don't know there's a lot of crossover with them is the different uh, handles that you can get that you're fitting your baskets into. Uh, in the same way that we have our double wall basket, you can actually get handles which in the same way will be a pressurized handle and that will control the flow of water 
through the coffee rather than your grind size. Um, be aware of this if you're buying a lower end machine um, from, again, one of your supermarkets. There's a famous German company out there that sells them. Um, have a look and see whether you have a pressurized handle or not. Um, a non-pressurized handle uh, will always have a large hole and allow that coffee to flow through very quickly. A pressurized one, I don't actually have one here to demonstrate, but it'll, it, again, it'll have a very, very small hole in the bottom of it um, to control the flow of water through it. Um, I suppose that's a really big consideration when you're buying a coffee machine is probably knowing that before you go into the shops to try and buy one um, and have a bit of a look. As I said, you're probably not going to be able to, I suppose, control your extractions as well when you have a, a handle that is uh, a pressurized handle. Now, beyond that, when we move into our non-pressurized handles, there's three main types that I'm gonna go with you now. There's our single spout, our double spout, and also our naked. Now, back to the single and double spout. In most coffee machines, the handle themselves are pretty much identical, except for the spouts on the bottom. All those spouts are doing is directing the coffee into a cup. If you are going into one cup, you've got a couple of different options. You can just use your single spout, which will direct the coffee into one cup very nicely and neatly. The good thing about the double spout is that you can split your shot and divide uh, the coffee into two cups. Um, this can be really useful and is pretty much what we will be using on a day-to-day -day basis uh, in the cafe because it uh, offers us flexibility in being able to split those shots or putting it into one cup. Um, the last one that I want to talk about, which is a, a really nice, uh, I suppose, a training tool um, and gives you a lot of visual feedback during the extraction that you can really um, use to improve your extractions is the, the naked handle. So this does not have any base on it. It does not have any spouts and it allows you to visually see the extraction and the way that's progressing. Um, at home, even in cafes, everywhere, this is a really, really great option to get that visual feedback to help you improve on your extractions and also uh, identify things that aren't going that well. So a good extraction will start on the outside, start dripping and then condense into one point and run smooth and evenly throughout the extraction. If you have any channeling or puck defects, you will see uh, that in the coffee, uh, in the in the... I suppose the different colors coming through and tiger striping, it's far more visual on a naked basket. You will also see any uh, channeling that is, or wormholes that have come through spraying out the side. Um, that is probably one of the things, I suppose one of the main reasons why people don't use these in cafes on a day-to-day -day basis is that they're not super clean. Obviously, if I'm pulling a poor extraction or a, a sub-optimal extraction from a naked basket, uh, sorry, a naked handle with the exposed basket into it, into let's say an espresso cup. Um, if it's not a great extraction, it may not all go into the espresso cup and it may cause uh, some spurting around the side and a bit of mess. So that's probably the only drawback. I love these. I use this um, set up with a naked that I can see my basket at home every single day and I don't have any problems. The other thing that you can't do with this is split your shots. So if you're not looking to split your shots and you're looking to improve your extractions through those visual cues, as well as taste, we always go by taste as well, a naked, bar, um, a naked handle with the exposed basket is a great way to do that. So we've covered double wall baskets, covered the single, double, and naked handle. Now let's move into the very confusing uh, world of the single wall basket. Now, as a high-end coffee company, this is solely where we play. We don't bother with um, the double wall baskets at all. None of our products we recommend that you use the double basket, the, sorry, the double wall basket for. It's always a single wall basket. Now, when you receive a new coffee machine, let's say, or when you go in and look at, at baskets, it can be really confusing. Um, there's a whole myriad of different looking baskets, different sizes and kind of different uses for each of those. The first one that I wanna tick off is everyone will have 
hopefully seen one of these but not used it, is a single basket. Now the idea of this is that it uses less coffee than your double wall basket. Um, if you're just making one coffee and you're making a small coffee, it makes perfect sense that you would put this basket into your handle, grind your coffee into that, pull a single shot and away you go. Uh, beyond the idea of that, it's a very, very flawed system. We've got a few issues with, uh, I suppose, what I would call a truncated basket and the distribution of the coffee in that, the even or lack thereof of uh, even bed depth, even the tamp pressure being even through the basket, there's a whole myriad of problems. Basically, when our water's introduced onto the top of this style basket, it doesn't run evenly through our coffee. The main thing that we're looking for in any basket is to try and create an even bed of coffee that when the water is introduced to, the water will run through that even bed of coffee without any channeling with an even extraction to get the most flavor out of it. Um, a single basket, although it seems really great, doesn't really actually pull a great shot. Uh, I don't recommend that anybody use these. Um, obviously, if you are really uh, money conscious and you don't want to use a large amount of coffee to make a, 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 an espresso with, um, that's an option, but really, I struggle getting a good extraction out of these, so I don't even bother anymore. So again, the same as a double wall basket, gonna toss it and get rid of it. Um, the next thing that I wanna talk about is different basket sizes. So this is a La Mazzocco 21 gram basket, um, and that's quite large. That's the largest size that La Mazzocco produces. Um, and you can see here, I've got a larger 14 gram basket. Now these are actually designed to hold a different weight of coffee. This doesn't have to take 21 grams. You can overdose that up to 23 grams and probably down to about 19 or 20 grams and still get a decent extraction. But if you were to put 23 grams in this 14 gram basket, it would react very differently. It would push back up on the shower screen. So that's one thing I suppose to be aware of, that there is different sizes. Now, I suppose, why, why do you think you would have different size baskets? Why doesn't everyone just have a 21 gram basket? It all comes back to the end result that you're looking for. Um, if I'm using a, a small cup with milk, let's say, and I, I don't want, I want to use my naked handle, so I'm not able to split that shot, um, a 14 gram basket might be sort of the, the, the strength that I'm looking for in my end cup. Um, if I'm in a cafe and I'm looking for fast paced service and I'm splitting shots in half, uh, obviously the larger basket gives us more capacity to make coffee quicker um, by grinding, tamping and extracting one basket and getting two coffees out of it. It's just something to be aware of. Uh, there seems to be a lot of stuff out on the internet and YouTube at the moment about recipes and, and brew ratios and everything like that. A big factor that I suppose needs to be specified for any one of those is definitely the basket size that you're using. If I gave you a recipe of 22.5 grams uh, in or dose, uh, 45 grams out in 34 seconds with a 14 gram basket, it doesn't matter what you do with your grind particle size, you will not be able to achieve the goal extraction. Um, and if you did, it wouldn't taste very good. So it's just one thing to be aware that there's lots of different size baskets. The other thing I wanna talk about is the slight, um, I suppose, differences in the walls of the baskets. So here we've got a straight wall basket, and this one, again, is what I would call a truncated basket. Um, so you can see it actually starts to come in a little bit uh, smaller at the bottom, and it has less surface area for that coffee at the bottom of the basket. Um, I don't recommend using these. There is a little bit of opinion out there that a slightly truncated basket will achieve a better extraction. In my experience, from what I've found, um, that doesn't seem to be the case. Again, when we talk about pressure differentials with uh, the bed of coffee, um, and also as the water flows, that channeling that you're gonna get off the side walls, similar to a single basket, you get that a lot more with a truncated double basket as well. So, in my opinion, 
double truncated basket you want to throw away just a quick side note on that depending on the manufacturer of the handle some of them will not take a large uh, straight wall basket the handles just aren't big enough you would have to buy a different handle for that to fit into and they will only fit a truncated double wall basket um, the last thing that I want to cover, and this is probably just a little bit of information for everybody. A lot of people may buy a coffee machine or, uh, you know, come across a few extra bits in the box of their coffee machine and not know what that is. So this is what we call a blind basket, and it is not for making coffee. This is specifically for back flushing your machine. So that's just a little side note, if you find one of those and you don't know what it is, there's no holes in the bottom, that is a blind basket and it is for cleaning your machine. If you don't know how to clean your machine or how to back flush your machine, we've got videos uh, on that and I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, but other than that, I think I've covered most things about baskets. If you have any questions or would like more information, if you want to tell us how great this video is and um, maybe tell me what you want to hear about, put a comment down below. Make sure you like this um, video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get updated every time we release a new video. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you again next time.